Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest Open Season, where we've just been inside the Third Eye Theatre and we spoke to the manager there and um, there's a very suspicious goings on there. We found a red dress, uh, there's a weird smell coming from one of the bathrooms and some of the doors are locked. Um, I don't know, there's some interesting theories coming from you guys in the comments, um, saying that you're wondering if that guy is actually the killer and he um, uses the dress and everything as like a disguise, which I would assume is to throw off potential witnesses and stuff and honestly not a bad shout I didn't consider that but could well be a thing um the only lead I think we've got at the moment did we pick anything up from there we didn't we spoke to him um really the only lead we've potentially got then is the license plate that we got from the impound and I'm not sure if we can I'm not sure if we can like do anything with that here might be able to. I think we're still waiting to hear back on some of the coroner stuff and SID stuff as well, aren't we? So we might just have to bide our time until that happens, but I don't know if we can run license plates or anything You attach here. your Parker Center ID to your suit. Honestly, it's so annoying that you have to do that every time that I feel like they should just award you like one point or something for doing it. Just for the sheer inconvenience of making you have to manually attach a badge every time you walk into the building. Anyway. You press the button to call the elevator. We do indeed press the button to call the elevator. Some of you guys saying as well in the comments that um, you also don't like the narrator. And perhaps the narrator is the killer. I would love for the narrator to be the killer so that we could take him out and just lock him in a cell somewhere so we don't have to listen to his nonsense anymore. However, I don't you think that's going to be the case. Floor as your which is a real shame. Um, let's head into the office. Let's see if there's any way we can do anything with a license plate. Because that really is the only lead we've got now, isn't it? Like, short of going to revisit some of the other places um, which we will probably have to do I imagine I can't go that way because you know why would they program it so that you can go both ways when you come this way well if it ain't the boy wonder how how are you what's going on my hemorrhoids are acting up good lovely big flare up big flare damn job I mean maybe don't just sit down all day anything new to report Hal yeah, Junior, you're damn lucky to have a partner like me. I'm working my butt off in here while you're running around. You probably even saw a little sunshine today, didn't you, Junior? You're just damn lucky to have me in here slaving away for you. I mean... Oh, is that his phone again? Yep. I mean, if you want to swap and take the narrator's job, I would be very, very happy about that. I'd rather listen to you the whole time giving me guidance rather than Mr. Narrator Guy. Um... There, can we do anything on our desk? I mean, do we even have anything about the license plate? Your department issued memorandum book and pencil. I'm not sure that we do. Your action is... Yeah, yeah, my action's unwarranted. Shut up, narrator, seriously. Like, I've, I've got to the point where the narrator's just pushed me a little bit too far and I just cannot tolerate his nonsense anymore. Maybe we can do something on the computer. On the previous games, that was a thing, so... Uh, we need ID and password, so it's 612, I think, and wasn't the password on the back of this. The photograph taken of you and Hickman at the lake. The Gunner? time you caught the big one. Yeah, yeah, the time we caught the big one. Gunner. You adjust your tie and smooth the wrinkles from your suit. Please get out of the way so I can click on the computer. Thank you. So, uh, what was the... Oh, I've forgotten the number. Your action is unwarranted. Oh, I have just about had all I can take of this narrator. I, f I feel like the end of the game is coming soon, and honestly, good. There are moments in this game that I've enjoyed. There are a lot of moments that I've absolutely hated. The narrator is probably top of the list, in all honesty. I just The sooner we don't have to listen to him anymore, the better. Right, log in as Carrie. Thank you. Log in. Thank you. Uh, potentially DMV? Aha, yes, license number. Fantastic. I thought we'd seen something like that on there when we were looking up the gang things. Um, so I made a note of the license number. I think it's 2... Uh, hang on. B... S... Y... 669. 
don't know if we have to do the little E before it or not. License information not found. Okay, maybe we do need to do the E. So like E um, 2BSY 669. I know, it doesn't even let us do that. So maybe 2BSY 669. Is that a thing? License information not found again. Okay, well, I was hoping that might bring something up, but apparently not. Um, does it need to be without brackets, maybe? Oh, God, okay. I'm just going to have to delete it all. So, E to... Why did it jump over? The oh god, this thing is infuriating. E two B S Y E two B S Y six six nine. If this doesn't work, then I guess there's just like no way of running it. Maybe that maybe there's a reason it's coming up as nothing. Maybe it's like fake plates. No, hang on. Registration Central District District Health Center, Los Angeles County, 1209 Figueroa. Um, game? I'm trying to read that, please. I didn't click to come off the screen, so. Los Angeles, California. Central District Health Center. Or is it registered to the Health Center? That's a bit weird. Do you know anything about this? What have you got for me, Hal? Any news? Hell, Junior, you are the news. I saw the TV last night. Building's hot for you, Junior. Yeah, we already... Yourself. Next thing you know, the two of you will be fighting your way to matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> Go back on the phone and do your job. You gonna pick that up, or...? There we go. Apparently he's just going to pick it up and not say anything out loud. Okay, so... Health center. I mean... I, I, why is it registered to a health you call center? call the elevator. And do we even know about a health center? We got points for finding that information, so I'm guessing it's relevant in some way. Maybe we can go down and tell SID about it? Let's give it a go, I suppose. You select the basement as your destination. Yes, we do. Honestly, why we couldn't have had the space quest narrator in this game, I don't know, because that would have been infinitely more enjoyable. I've been told to expect a lot of backtracking and going to different places and on this like this Thursday in-game, by the way, so that should be fun. Hello, detective. How can I help you? Hello. Um, can I tell you about any license plate information? Hello, Chester. Hello, Chester. We might be able to say something about this. The vehicle the victims were found in, Chester. What did you find? Their body fluids, their hair, their fingerprints, and red fibers. Other than that, the car was very clean. Too That's clean. The Nothing red in the glove box, under the seats, anywhere. So the red fibres, which would suggest maybe that dress. Uh, I think we asked these things, but... Chester, how about Jane Doe 1201K? Anything come back on her? How about fingerprints? Well, she does have fingerprints. They just don't match anything we have out there for missing people. Okay, yeah, I think we asked these things, but I'm going to ask again just in case. How about Jane Doe 1202L? What do you have, Chester? We haven't received the body fluids from the morgue yet. We're limited on what we can do here, Detective. Yeah, we did. Unfortunately, didn't. we haven't heard back from Quantico on the other samples either. We're we, at a dead end. Yeah, we did ask these things, didn't we? I remember. See you later, Detective Carey. Okay, um... So, I guess maybe it's a case of now backtracking to... the button, you call the elevator. Maybe it's a case of backtracking to other locations and just see if anything else rears its head, I suppose, to see if we can investigate it. Okay, back to the lobby. You select the lobby as your destination. The lobby. Mm. 
I mean, I don't think we want to go to the shooting range again. I imagine that we're probably done with that, given that we did the test. Uh, so, where have we got? Griffith Park might be worth a visit. Um, been to there. That is very suspicious. Hickman's house. Again, probably not worth a visit. We're not going to go there. Shortstop bar. Central district health. Oh, is this the health? Mm. We haven't been here before. Central district health centre. County of Los Angeles. Health department. This is where the the cars registered to I think oh, I guess that makes sense so we we basically checked where the car was registered to and then it's appeared as a place on the map I suppose um okay unexpected but let's go with it let's um hit a save because we actually haven't done that yet this episode um health center okay let's have a look around the corridors are endless in the social services building oh, social services interesting okay let's show our badge no identification is required carrie okay i'm not sure why. she can't hear you from here are you kidding me what's this do you have to press a button or something the corridors are endless in the social services building yeah but i'm looking at this thing on the wall feels like county as opposed to city what doesn't make sense she can't hear you from here. She... She can't... Feels like county as opposed to city. Hey, excuse... I mean, is this a door? Like... What, what's going on here? Is, I'm very confused. Feels like county as opposed to city. She can't hear us from here, but how do we... There appears to be a receptionist behind the desk. Yeah, but you open the door to social services. May I help you, sir? <sighs> yeah, you can help me by just ending the torture that is this game, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Nora Bitteridge, receptionist and part-time psychology student. Okay, I mean, I know I don't want to do the question mark. Um, I'm just going to save over that because apparently we had to manually open that door but I had to click on right exactly the right part of the door. Hello, so. I'm Detective John Carey, Homicide LAPD. I'd like to speak with the person in charge, please. I'm sorry, Detective. Our manager is out for the week. I'm Nora Bittridge. May I help you? <sighs> Maybe. I mean, if you can provide any good information. Nora, a car registered to social services has wound up in impound. Its license number is County 2BSY669. Can you tell me whom it's assigned to, please? Could it be the manager? Yes, detective. Just let me look that up. Why, that car is assigned to one of our social workers, a Miss Luella Parker. Okay. May I speak to Miss Parker, please? Well, I'm afraid Luella is not in, detective. Y yeah, you said that. Is she out on a client call? No, actually, we don't know where she is. The last time we saw her was Monday, midday. I've tried calling her home, but I get no answer. That's suspicious. I mean, could it be that that is the mum? Because the guy in the theatre said that the dress belonged to his mum, right? Does Miss Parker have family we might contact? Well, I don't believe so. At least not out in California. Hmm. I think she's alone out here from Chicago. Okay, so maybe not on that theory. Nora, do you think you could give me a physical description of Miss Parker? Why, yes. I pride myself on my observation skills. Let's see. Noella is 34 years old. She stands approximately 5 feet 5 inches tall and is overweight, so I would say she weighs around 160 pounds. That's oddly specific. Nora, what color eyes and hair does Luella have? Why, black hair and brown eyes, detective. Luella is black. African-American. Okay. Nora, I'd like to look over Luella's office, please. Oh. Why, of course, Detective. Are they just going to let us do that without if a warrant? If you follow me, I'll escort you back to her office. Do we need a warrant for this? Is this, like, one of those traps where the game's going to... I'll be at my desk, Detective, if you need anything. Okay, thank you. I mean, I feel like this could be a situation where the game's going to be like, you didn't get a warrant, game over, right at the end. But, okay. Um... Interesting. So, the person who owns the car has been missing since the Monday. Um, 
potentially could be one of the victims then, I guess. If there's no, like, family nearby to be notified, it's possible. Um, okay. Uh, health centre office. So we're going to have a look around here and see if we can find any clues. But we're out of time, so we'll do that in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paulie Ohm, Flossy the Sheep, Jonathan Conley and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time.